Hey folks, Rob with Two Guys in a Ride. Today I'm with Tom and Liz and they're going to show us a spectacular car and tell us a little bit of history about this vehicle. And either one of you want to start and I, I think it should be Liz actually because she told me a lot of great information earlier. But I think Tom's got a little bit to share as well. So I'll let you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves and introduce your car. Oh, okay, I'm Liz and this is Tom. Tom. And this is our 66 Shelby. I bought it back in 1977. It was an ad in the Shelby American magazine, the Shelby American Club magazine, and it was in Louisiana. So, well, why did you buy this car? I'd been looking for a couple of, for a year or two. I, whenever they first came out, I always wanted one. Okay. So you know, after they built up the racing history, it just made it more desirable. Okay. And I love the looks of them. So I looked for a few, a couple years while I was traveling. Okay. And I saw this ad in, in the Shelby American magazine. The guy sounded honest and everything. So I called him up. This is way back before internet and stuff. Yeah, so now <laughs> you you bought this car in 1977. It's been in your family since 1977. Yep. Yes. That's that's pretty awesome. So. Uh, Tell me a little bit, uh, it sounds like it wasn't quite born the way that we see it today as far as the stripes and the back seat go. Oh, it came from, we have, we know it came from Shelby American with a back seat and no overhead stripes. But the overhead stripes were optional. We think the dealer put them on. And we recently found out that there, the dealer had two Shelbys. One of them had the shelf in back, one of them had the back seat. Ours had the back seat. The person that bought the other one with the shelf, his mother said that they would take, <laughs> she would take delivery if it had a back seat. So the dealer swapped out the back seat and the shelf and we ended up with the shelf. That's pretty unique because there's only like 85, 66 is going to have that rear shelf. Now, also, this is a carryover car. What That's does right. that right. mean? At the end of 65 production, Ford shuts down their plants for a month or so to start up the 66s. Shelby American didn't want to run out of cars, so they ordered 200 of them. There were two prototypes, and then they ordered 200 of 65, so it's... 252. Got, yeah, plus yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, 252, got, and the, but know, two of those were prototypes. 65 right. Ford okay. pin number, 65 interiors, all 65. Okay. But it's got all the 66 Shelby parts on it. It's titled okay. as a 66 Shelby. So you've got a 65 must Ford Mustang VIN and a 66 Shelby VIN number. Right. Correct. Okay, right. but it is actually titled as a 66 Shelby. It's titled Shelby. as a 66. That's, that's awesome. Yep. Now, yep. what kind of power plant do we have then, and what's it's been done to that? It started out as a 271 horse engine. Okay. Shelby put a high-rise intake and a big carburetor on it and a set of headers. And he rated it at 306. Now, were the insurance wars going on at that time? Was that really 306 or was it quite a bit more? Or do you know if that's... From what I've read, it's fairly accurate. Okay, okay. I guess it was in the 70s that they were under yeah. under uh, stating because of the yeah. insurance reasons right, and stuff. Right, right. So, you know, you talk about you guys driving. You said, you know, you apologize. I don't think there's no apology needed, but you apologize for it not being a show quality car and that you drive it. My gosh, I, I think driving is the best part. So well, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me though, you've done some modifications to the transmission, to the drivetrain, stuff like that. Right. What have you done? We, we put in a T5. Okay. Uh, we yes, do folks, have and the... she knows what a T5 <laughs> is, okay, and she's going to tell you. <laughs> and we, we did, um, we do have the T10 aluminum transmission okay. and the drive shaft original numbers matching tucked safely away, and we had a, no, a new drive shaft, ma a drive shaft made in order for the T5 to slip in. Wow. So. And then this, uh, this is the factory white, is this the original paint? No. No, original. okay. It was repainted around 1975. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I so, be, so, but this is since 75, though. Right. Okay. Wow. And you drive in. It looks. It looks great. It's got some rock chips, but well, it, it, you but know, you drive it. That's the yeah, cool well, part yes, about it. Yeah. Well, yes, we do. We try and drive. If the National Shelby Club is within a day's drive, we drive it. Okay. All right. So. Oh, oh, yeah. Where, where is the furthest you've driven it to then? Or uh, Mid Ohio. 
Okay. It's a 14 hour drive one way. These are okay. the Shelby. Oh, cool. Yeah, come That's, on, bring that up a little bit more and we can see that. That's where we, we have driven it to. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, Road America? Yeah. Oh, how was that? Oh, oh. that was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Who drove the most on that one? Oh, you did? Okay, because she was saying you guys take turns because I imagine it's not as, I mean, old cars are great, but they don't have the amenities or the comfort. You right. were saying you don't, it's not really a good car to sleep in. Right, right. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not efficient enough to take it out on a racetrack. Okay. okay. I'm not that kind of driver. <laughs> as far as being on the racetrack, we just out there for what they call parade laps. Okay, right. right Although right. you can leg behind, then you can gas it. And what kind of speed up. do they let you do on the parade laps? Are you doing running Supposedly highway speed? Supposedly 50 miles an hour. But if you lag back, then you can punch then it. Then you can punch it. Yeah. And, and see what's in it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's well, fun. <laughs> any any other cool story or special feature about this vehicle that um, really just you, you want to share with folks because it's, it's basically it's, original there's yeah. there's not much that's not and we've got pictures so. and we'll interlay those pictures that I took earlier in the video as we're talking and mm -hmm. you folks will be able to see that uh, so you know give us some thumbs up and give us some comments below if you like what you see here because this is an absolutely beautiful GT 350. It's a 1966 Shelby, and it's one of the 252 carryover cars. And it, I think it's a huge find, but it's even cooler because you didn't know what you had until that's you right. did the research. So that's even cooler. <laughs> yeah. So that's it, folks. And hey, I wanted to thank you so much. Guys, thank you for sharing your well, car with you. us. It's absolutely beautiful.